Michaela Chester here for NCAA Digital. I put together a list for the best player at every position currently in women's volleyball. But to make it even more fun, I divided the country in half to basically produce an East and West All-Star team. The line I drew is on the border of Nebraska and Texas. So I've got teams like Texas, Nebraska, Stanford, Oregon, Baylor, etc. on the West and then Wisconsin, Penn State, Purdue, Louisville, Ohio State, and more on the East. Three hitters, two middles, a setter, and a libero for each. Let's do it. On the West, I've got Logan Eggleston as my first hitter. Pretty obvious, she will be in Player of the Year conversations. She leads the best team in the nation at Texas, one that played a really tough non-conference schedule, and still, you should see her stats. She averages 4.71 kills per set and 5.53 points per set, which is also in the top 10 nationally. She also has 18 aces on the season. Next, Stanford's Kendall Kipp. I looked at overall numbers here, not just kills. Kip averages over five points per set and 4.07 kills per set. She's also a lethal server with 24 service aces so far on the season. Her numbers were close with some other players, but this is a hitter on a strong Cardinal team and one with national title experience. For my last one, Skylar Fields at USC. You cannot dispute her talent. Check out these numbers, 4.71 kills per set, 5.15 points per set, at a 303 clip. Brooke Nunneviller at Oregon was a player I almost included here, but I had to go with Fields. For my middles, I'm going with Caitlin Horde at Nebraska and Heather Knighting at BYU. There were a lot of good options in the West. Sammy Francis at Stanford and Kara McGee at Baylor are two of them. But Horde is a multiple time All-American playing for a strong Nebraska team and Knighting puts up a crazy amount of points per set as a middle. She's averaging 3.76 points per set for her team. That is so much more than just blocking. This is a middle with over 2.5 kills per set. Oh, and she also has 21 service aces on the season. Casual. Setter and Libero are up next, and again, so many good options. I'm going with Gabby Blossom at San Diego. There are other setters with more assists per set, but Blossom is a player that has transformed this San Diego team. To go from where they were last year to a top four team in the nation, I had to go with that. And lastly, at Libero, where can you go wrong when picking between Lexi Rodriguez and Zoe Fleck? I'm going Fleck though, an absolutely phenomenal athlete, leading Texas's backcourt 4.79 digs per set behind a huge block. She's my first sure pick. All right, let's move over to the East. My first hitter is Georgia Tech's Julia Bergman, undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the nation. She ranks fourth in the country with 5.23 kills per set and fourth again in points per set with 5.88. She's an All-American and Conference Player of the Year in the tough ACC and definitely my pick in the East. I've got a freshman phenom as one of my hitters with Eva Hudson. She's posting insane numbers, 5.06 kills per set at an incredibly high 339 hitting percentage. She's averaged 5.66 points per set and is the X factor for Purdue this season. For my last hitter, I'm going with McKenna Melville at UCF, the active kills leader in the NCAA. She's up to a career total 2,227 kills. This year, she's leading the NCAA in points per set with 6.15, and she's second in the nation with 5.51 kills per set. Players like Taylor Lanfair and Claire Chausse were in consideration for me, but I had to go with those three. For my middles, Danielle Hart at Wisconsin was a go-to for me, second in the nation in blocks with 1.63 per set. She averages a total of 2.6 points per set and hits at an incredible 387 clip. Allie Holland at PSU is my second middle pick. She's number 11 in the NCAA with 1.48 blocks per set, but posts 3.11 points per set for her team at a 327 clip. At setter, I had to go with Mac Pedraza at Ohio State. She's running the offense over at OSU, playing the hands down toughest schedule in the nation and averaging 10.58 assists per set. Lastly, my libero in the East, I went with Elena Scott at Louisville. She averages 4.27 digs per set behind a strong block and anchors the backcourt for the second best team in the NCAA right now. There you have it. Let me know who would be on your East and West All-Star teams.